What's up guys, welcome back to Fisher Hex. This is Travis here. Today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing of this new Dremel tool that I got. Now, as I mentioned in a previous video, I purchased a cordless one from Harbor Freight and when I was cutting coral the other day, it just died. The battery didn't hold up as long as I needed it to and um, it just became an issue. So with all the coral cutting I'm doing lately, it's better off uh, just getting one that's corded. So I picked this up from eBay for about $37, 38 bucks, something like that, free shipping. And uh, it is an off-brand from China, so we'll see uh, kind of how it holds up. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Grab my scissors here. All right, get rid of all this packing. All right, it's gonna turn it this way. That's a decent case. Little handle. I'm just not. I'm not gonna end up using it. I'll probably just hang it up and call it a day. Instructions. All right, so the first thing I have here, it's coming out of the box, so I might as well talk about it first. It's going to be the extension for the bits. Now, I have one on my other one, and it's, yeah, it's the exact same thing, literally. Basically, you just remove the end here, put that on, and uh, put your bit in there, and it works good. Definitely handy, so I'll set that to the side. Ported Dremel. It's definitely got a it's definitely got a good weight to it. It weighs more than the other one. On and off. The lock and the speed adjustment, which is good. What does it go up to? Seven. Alright, that's pretty cool. Now when you're changing stuff, you hold in the lock here, it allows you to freely move it. Or make it so it doesn't move freely, sorry. That's pretty cool. Set that to the side. Now this is supposed to be the hanging kit. As I mentioned before, mine hangs on a hook. This is supposed to be a rod that you hang your Dremel from, wherever the clip is for it. And uh, it uh, holds it up so it doesn't uh, get loose on you. I probably won't use this because I already have the hook. This is the other end of that. Allows you to you know, tighten it onto a piece of wood or a bench. It's pretty cool. And then they always come with some kind of bits or something. So let's see what this, this has. Now, pretty much I can guarantee that I will use probably none of these. I'll probably just use the extension here for the bigger bit that I use. But those are useless for me. The one diamond bit. Yeah. Let's see what's in here. The wrench to tighten the bits. The Allen that goes, or not the Allen, but it's basically like an Allen wrench. It just doesn't have any flat edges. It goes inside the, uh, the uh, where is the end? Where the heck is that end? When you go to um, loosen up and tighten the bit, this just fits in there. So it doesn't spin when you use the wrench. Okay. So I'll probably use that. Let's see what we got. These are just the sanding slash cutting bits. Sanding, drill bit, more sanding. Some other diamond bits that I won't need. Hey, well you never know. This is pretty cool, I will use this. Basically allows you to unscrew the end, put on your diamond cutting bit, screw it back on, and then put it in the machine. Uh, I will end up using that. So, uh, you know, they always come with this default stuff just to add to the kit for those of you who are getting started. But uh, overall, um, I definitely like the w the weight of this is um, definitely a lot more than the other one. And, uh, you know, weight doesn't exactly mean quality, but it, it's definitely better than feeling like uh, a piece of just a piece of plastic. So let's go ahead and hook it up and uh, let's see how it works. All right, I got everything out of the box. So let's go ahead and assemble this. 
and then start cutting. All right, so the first thing here is you're going to want to take off the end of the, uh, the bit here, or the Dremel bit, so we can go ahead and put the extension on. And you want to hold this button down, all right, and it keeps this from spinning. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and set these right here for right now. Then you're going to come over here to the screw-on part of your adapter, pull out the extension here, this inside little rod. Okay. You're going to go ahead and um, put on your screw-on part here. I don't know the names of all these pieces, so just follow me. You're going to put on the other one. Okay. Go ahead and insert this inside the Dremel and then lock it down. Again, hold on the button. Okay. Then you come through here and put on the rest. I'm just going to do it this way. It's easier. All right, so that's good to go. Now, I did find the clip here for the end, for the back. So I'm pretty excited about that. I couldn't find it at first to hang it up. I was like, why would you send me something to hang up that I, you know, is not able to, so. But it did come with that, so it seems to be strong enough. Now let's move on to the other end here, which is the, uh, the handheld part. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up this first by putting in your little Allen wrench key there. Okay, it keeps it from spinning. You're gonna take your screw, there we go. Okay, take that out, take that out. Just leave that right there right now. All right, so let's go ahead and set up the diamond bit cutter. Now this is the piece that it came with. This is one of the diamond cutters that I already have. And it has two little washers. Literally can barely get them apart. Fucking sausage fingers. All right, this might take longer than I thought it would. All right. Okay, then you're gonna put one on. Add the cutting bit. Add the second one. And then put your attachment on there. Now the back of this has a little flat end. I guess you can consider it a screwdriver. Tighten it down pretty good. All right. Next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and Where's the end here? We'll see how it inserts. But, uh, all right. Make sure it's all the way in. All right, make sure that's down all the way. Come through the little wrench. And you're good to go. All right, so let's get over and start cutting some coral. All right, before we start cutting, I need to get some coral. So let's go ahead and grab some of this green digi as well as the red. I'm also going to remove a pretty decent sized chunk of the green encrusting Monty that's underneath the red Monty cap there. Now, this rock structure really is kind of out of order when it comes to cutting and selling. Now, I have to sell out everything on the left rock structure and then continue my way down the tank. But a lot of you guys have been requesting this these digis as well as the encrusting Montipora. So I figured I'd go ahead and cut some and heal it and get it ready to sell. All right, let's go ahead and get cutting. Now, the first thing I notice immediately is the power. It definitely has plenty of power to cut any kind of coral that I need to cut, even cutting through rock. As long as the bit is still, you know, got enough diamond coat on it, you can cut through rock without any issues whatsoever. Now, the definitely one thing that I really, really like is the fact that it doesn't bog down. Uh, There's something that happened when the uh, battery started getting a little bit low on the other one. It would just bog down and you really couldn't get through coral efficiently. And, uh, you know, it kind of cuts the whole process short and you really can't get as much done as you want to. But with this, I can do as much as I want, however long I want to. And uh, I'm really glad that I made this purchase. Now, it's definitely not, you know, a $200, $300 Dremel. But, you know, for 40 bucks, it does everything that I needed to do. And, uh, you know, I really don't have any reason to go out and spend that much money for a Dremel. Well guys, that's about it for this video. I really don't feel a need to go on for 15 or 20 minutes doing a review. So if you have any questions, go ahead and put in a comment section below or you can contact me directly. I will say that I am happy with my overall purchase and I'm definitely gonna continue to use this while I'm cutting up the reef. 
Now, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, feel free to give a thumbs down. If you like the content that I provide for this community, go ahead and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.